Welcome to the spoken tutorial on matrix operations. At the end of the spoken tutorial, you will be able to access the elements of a matrix, determine the determinant, inverse and eigenvalues of a matrix, define the special matrices, perform elementary row operations, solve the system of linear equations. The prerequisites are Scilab should be installed on your system. You should have listened to the spoken tutorials Getting Started with Scilab and Vector Operations. I am using Windows 7 operating system and Scilab 5.2.2 for demonstration. Start Scilab by double clicking on the Scilab icon present on your desktop. It is suggested that the user should practice this tutorial in Scilab simultaneously while pausing the video at regular intervals of time. Recall that in the spoken tutorial vector operations matrix E was defined as E is equal to open square bracket 5 space 19 space 15 semicolon 8 space 22 space 36 close the square bracket and press enter. Let us now see how to address individual elements of a matrix separately. To access the element in the first row and second column type E into bracket 1 comma 2 and press enter. It is easy to extract an entire row or an entire column of a matrix in Scilab. For example, first row of E can be obtained using the following command. E1 is equal to E into bracket 1 comma colon and press enter. The command returns all the elements of the first row in the order of their appearance in the row. Colon, when used alone, refers to all the elements of a row or column, depending upon whether it appears as a first or a second entry respectively inside the bracket. Also, any subset of a matrix can be extracted using a colon. For example, the set of elements starting from the second to third columns of E can be obtained using the following command. E2 is equal to E of colon comma 2 colon 3 close the bracket and press enter. In the above, the second entry in the bracket, that is 2 colon 3, makes a reference to elements from column 2 to column 3. If the size of the matrix is not known, dollar symbol can be used to extract the last row or column of that matrix. For example, to extract all rows of the last column of the matrix E, we will type E last column is equal to E into brackets colon comma dollar sign close the bracket and press enter. Now let us learn how to calculate the determinant of a square matrix using the command DET. Recall that in the spoken tutorial vector operations we had defined A as a is equal to open square bracket 1 space 2 space minus 1 semicolon minus 2 space minus 6 space 4 semicolon minus 1 space minus 3 space 3 close the square bracket and press enter. Let us calculate the determinant of A by the command det of A and press enter. 
To calculate the inverse and the eigenvalues of a matrix, the commands I and V and spec respectively can be used. For example, I and V of A gives the inverse of A and spec of A gives the eigenvalues of matrix A. C helps spec to see how eigenvectors can also be obtained using this command. Square or cube of a matrix A can be calculated by simply typing A square or A cube respectively. A caret symbol is used to raise a matrix to power like in ordinary arithmetic operations. In our keyboard, it is obtained by pressing Shift 6. Please pause the tutorial now and attempt the exercise number 1 given with the video. Certain special matrices can also be created in Scilab. For example, a matrix of zeros with three rows and four columns can be created using zeros command. Zeros into bracket 3 comma 4 and press enter. A matrix of all ones can be created with ones command as follows. Ones into bracket 2 comma 4 gives a matrix of all ones. It is easy to create an identity matrix using the I command. EYE of 4 comma 4 gives a 4 by 4 identity matrix. A user may need a matrix consisting of pseudo random numbers. It can be generated using the rand command as follows. P is equal to rand into bracket 2 comma 3 and press enter. In linear systems, one of the important sets of operation a user carries out on matrices are the elementary row and column operations. These operations involve executing row operations on a matrix to make entries below a non-zero number 0. This can be done easily in Scilab. Recall that in the spoken tutorial vector operations we had defined a matrix P as follows. P is equal to open square bracket 1 space 2 space 3 semicolon 4 space 11 space 6 close the square bracket and press enter. Let us consider an example where the element in the second row, first column, is to be transformed to 0 using elementary row and column operation. This operation can be executed by multiplying the first row by 4 and subtracting it from the second row as in the following command. P into bracket 2 comma colon is equal to P into bracket 2 comma colon minus 4 multiplied by P into bracket 1 comma colon and press enter. The procedure can be extended to larger systems and to other forms of elementary column operations. Rows and columns can be easily appended to matrices. For example, to append a row containing the elements 5, 5, minus 2 to P, the following command is used. T is equal to open square bracket P semicolon 
open another square bracket, write down the elements 5, 5, minus 2, close both the square brackets and press enter. The semicolon after P states that anything after it should go to the next row. This is expected in the way a matrix is defined. As an exercise, please pause here and check if the brackets around the new row in the command just executed are really required. Matrix notations are used while solving equations. Let us solve the following set of linear equations. x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 is equal to 1 minus 2x1 minus 6x2 plus 4x3 is equal to minus 2 and minus x1 minus 3x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 1. The above set of equations can be written in the ax is equal to b form. The solution is then given as inverse of a times b. Let us solve the set of equations. A is defined as A is equal to open square bracket 1 space 2 space minus 1 semicolon minus 2 space minus 6 space 4 semicolon minus 1 space minus 3 space 3. Close the square bracket and press enter. B can be defined as B is equal to square bracket 1 semicolon minus 2 semicolon 1. Close the square bracket and press enter. The solution X can be obtained using X is equal to inverse of A multiplied by B. It is worth noting that it is a small letter I in the command INV. Alternatively, the same result can be achieved using a backslash operation in Scilab. Let's do this in Scilab. X is equal to A backslash B and press enter. It gives the same result. Type help backslash and help INV in Scilab to know more about individual advantages and disadvantages. The integrity of the solution can be verified by back substitution that is by calculating AX minus B. A multiplied by X minus B. The above exercise verifies the result achieved earlier. It is possible that in some systems the above verification exercise may not yield a matrix with exact zeros as its elements due to intermediate floating point operations. However, one will indeed get a very small number, typically of the order of 10 raised to minus 16. Please pause the tutorial now and attempt the exercise number 2 given with the video. This brings us to the end of this spoken tutorial on matrix operations. There are many other functions in Scilab which will be covered in other spoken tutorials. Keep watching the Scilab links. In this tutorial, we have learned to access the element of matrix using colon operator. Calculate the inverse of matrix using INV command or by backslash. Calculate the determinant of a matrix using det command. Calculate eigenvalues of a matrix using spec command. Define a matrix having all elements 1, null matrix, identity matrix and a matrix with random elements by using functions 1s, zeros, i, rand respectively. Solve the systems of linear equation. This spoken tutorial has been created by the free and open source software in science and engineering education. More information on the FOSSE project could be obtained from FOSSE.in or Scilab.in. 
supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. For more information, visit spoken-tutorial.org slash NMEICT-intro. This is Anuradha Amrutkar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining. Goodbye.